Hi, my name is Mr Newton and I'm the subject leader for psychology. I've been teaching psychology at Billy Grammar School for, since 2003 and I also a senior examiner for the subject at AQA. Uh, psychology is a really popular subject both here at Billy Grammar School and at degree level um, and a lot of our students go on to do psychology as a degree. It gives you a real insight into human behaviour and allows you to understand your own mind and also the mind of others. Uh, hopefully this next PowerPoint will give you more of the details about what it's like to study psychology here. Okay, so what is psychology all about? The word psychology comes from the ancient Greek word psyche, meaning mind, and logos, meaning knowledge. So it's the knowledge of the mind. It's the scientific study of the human mind and behaviour. Essentially, psychology is about the study of people, uh, trying to explain how we think and how we influence each other and how we influence each other's behaviour. Um, psychologists look at every single part of human behaviour, so they're coming up with theories about their life based on everything that they see around them, and they were kind of, kind of trying to carry out studies to try to prove their theories right or wrong. Okay, so human behaviour is obviously very, very complex uh, and everybody's different and lots of different things influence each aspect of different behaviour. So there's lots and lots of branches of psychology, um, some of which we'll study at A-level and some of which we'll be did at degree level. Uh, but here's just a few of the questions that some psychologists would ask and some of the questions that we attempt to answer uh, during A-level psychology. So what exactly will you be studying if you take psychology? Um, in the year 12, the first year of the psychology course, it's split into six different sections, all looking at completely different aspects of psychology. Uh, the year 12 and the year 13 are both assessed a 100% exam. At the end of year 12, there'll be two equally weighted uh, exams to test what you've been learning in that year. Um, paper one, the first three sections of this course that we study are social influence. So in this, we'll be looking at explanations for obedience, why people obey, why people don't obey, some of the factors that might influence their decision of whether to obey an order or not, uh, why people conform, follow, follow a crowd, uh, do what a group is doing, uh, and some real extreme circumstances where people conform to the roles that they've been given. Um, and what that does to people's behaviour. Um, we'll also be looking at social change, so how we can take um, a minority's point of view and change it so that it becomes something that the majority of people do. Um, second topic will be memory, so we'll be looking at different explanations for memory, what memory is like, what it looks like in your brain, and explanations for forgetting, why we forget, how we forget the things that we forget, and then specifically focusing in on eyewitness testimony, uh, how people witness a crime um, and their recall of what they have seen and what kind of factors affect how accurate that might be. And the final topic on paper one is attachment. So we're looking at particularly their uh, parent-child attachment, uh, the importance of parent-child bonding, how and why that happens, um, and what happens to children when that doesn't go right and how it influences the rest of your life. And then in paper two, we'll be looking at, first of all, psychopathology, so defining what it means to be normal and therefore what it means to be abnormal, uh, as well as trying to explain uh, a number of psychological disorders, including depression, uh, OCD and phobias, and looking at different psychological explanations for those, um, as well as different ways of treating uh, that behaviour. Um, research methods section of the course is looking at how psychologists conduct the studies that they do and the techniques that they use and actually doing some practical activities and designing and conducting our own research uh, and analysing the data as well. And then in the approaches section of the psychology course, uh, we're looking at lots of different um, approaches, the nature versus nurture debate, what biological uh, psychologists have to say about how, what causes behaviour and then right across to the other end of the spectrum, the psychological explanations um, of behaviour which say that everything about life is learned. In the second year of the A-level course students will also study in more depth this time the topics of issues and debates, so looking at things like gender bias and culture bias in psychological research, ethical issues and then socially sensitive research. Uh, we'll also look at relationships, so explanations for attraction um, and explanations for uh, romantic relationships and the breakdown of romantic relationships and then also looking at some extreme relationships, so celebrity fandom um, and stalking. 
um, in schizophrenia. We'll be looking at the diagnosis and classification of schizophrenia, as well as looking at some possible explanations for biological and psychological explanations of schizophrenia, as well as different ways of treating uh, the disorder of schizophrenia. And then the final topic is forensic psychology, where we look at offender profiling, so how profilers can make predictions um, about a criminal based on crime scene evidence and details that they can gather about the criminal, as well as explanations for why criminal behaviour occurs um, and also different ways of dealing with offending behaviour. So what other subjects does psychology go with? Um, psychology is a brand new subject obviously to everybody and it's not like anything you will have studied before. Um, we're using lots of different skills and lots of different areas so it's obviously a science so therefore we'll be doing lots of scientific experiments so in that element it mirrors a lot of the science stuff that you will have done before. Um, it, we use essay writing skills as well so it stems from English work that you might have done before. Lots and lots of debating about the different um, ethical sides of different research as well as the validity of lots of research um, and applying the research to our own life and we also do a little bit of basic mathematics as well with data handling so we're conducting research carrying out that research and then analyzing the results of that research using maths um, so it can be taken with any combination of subjects students take uh, psychology with with all sorts of varieties of subjects but in particular it complements uh, and in lots of cases crosses over with sociology uh, criminology um, as well as sports studies, biology, RE and English language all have something in common with, with psychology. So how would an A-level in psychology be useful to you moving forward? Uh, so it's such a great all-round subject, it gives you lots and lots of different skills, lots of strong analytical skills and a real understanding of people and emotions and behaviours and the influence of people on others. And um, so it lends itself perfectly to any people-centred career, any career that involves working with other people, uh, obviously the things like the police force, marketing, education, social work uh, and medicine. Uh, psychology also uh, counts as a science in many universities as well, so it could be one of the science uh, A-levels that you might need to get you on to a medicine degree or something similar. So hopefully that gives you some more information about psychology, give you a better understanding about whether you would want to take it or not. If you want to have a look at the following websites, we've got the AQA website which will give you some more information about the course content and also some websites that link to some of the type of materials that we study at A-level. Um, following on from this PowerPoint, hopefully you'll be able to hear from some of the students that currently take psychology and they will give you their views on what it's like to take psychology at A-level. We have decided A-level psychology. I like psychology because it's fun and practical. And the teachers are really nice and supportive and enthusiastic. When I first came to being a grammar six form, I had no idea what I was going to do. So I decided to take a chance on psychology and it has been one of the greatest decisions because before I had no idea what I was going to do. I didn't know what unions I was going to go to. I didn't even know whether I wanted to go to uni. Whereas now I have a clear idea. I've really enjoyed the subjects we've been doing. I found uh, learning about the cognitive approach, CBT, REBT, really interesting, as well as all the other subjects that we do. I'm looking forward to doing schizophrenia later this year, and yeah, I'd really recommend taking it. Alright, so I really enjoy psychology because there's lots of different aspects in the subject, and they are really interesting. For example, currently we're learning about forensics and why people commit crime. I really enjoy psychology because it gives you a point of view on everyone's life and uh, also the teachers really help out 